what's going on youtube today i want to introduce you guys to a free that's right absolutely free awesome tool that napa provides it'll help you look up parts it'll show you what they got in stock it'll let you see your cost it'll even show you what kind of fluids and the capacities of each vehicle you guys take a look because this thing is awesome this is old man in the country that i know no money in what he used to grow no, he don't care what people think When a farmer turns into a hippie Times a hard Mississippi Alright, YouTube, today we got a special guest, Mr. Bobby from Napa And he is going to explain to you guys how Napa ProLink system can help you out So, I'm going to let Mr. Bobby take it from here And he can show you guys some cool tricks Folks, one of the greatest uh, tools in the Napa toolbox today is, is Napa ProLink, as, as Clay and a lot of other customers in our area have really used that. You know, we're, uh, we're nationally recognized as one of the groups that does um, so much business on Napa. Matter of fact, in the third quarter, Mid-South Auto Supply, which is the Napa group that we own, uh, did 34.5% of the total dollars, so almost over a third of the dollars we did we did online because we've gone out and kind of educated our customers on the program uh, that is Napa ProLink. You know, I'm sure none of you in your Napa stores have ever run into the situation where you call the store and you're put on hold. You sit on hold for a few minutes waiting on a part. You give them a part number and they turn it around and give it to you. Or you have a part number and you're trying to get an interchange on it. Um, just imagine if you had a program in your shop or in your place of business that you could do that with in real time, matter of seconds for probably it takes you know somebody like clay who's been on it and and learned learned the system um, he can interchange a part he can find a part in about the time it takes the phone to ring um, we're going to show you a couple of uh, uh, scenarios on the on the system today but uh, like i said prolink was really put out there by napa it's updated every day uh, they update the catalog daily uh, to put in new part numbers, to add in changes, to fix any issues that might be in there, and to add in new search features, as you'll see later on in the video, uh, to really make your life easier. I mean, our goal is obviously, you know, to sell parts. Um, there's so much competition in today's world, you know, with the, the big box stores, Advance, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, not to mention all of the dealerships. So if Napa's going to continue to make it in, in the, uh, the high-tech world, we've got to make it easy for you to buy from us and ProLink will kind of show you as we'll walk over there and show you a couple of scenarios. One of the cool things about uh, Napa ProLink that I like other than interchange feature, you know, to cross reference part numbers is you can look and see if your local Napa store has it in stock. Um, and if not, you can look at where it's available and that way you can kind of get a turnaround time on how long it'll take. Um, another thing that I like to do is when you're giving quotes, you can actually give a customer a real quote on the part, you know, what it's going to cost you, and you'll know automatically what your profit margin is just on the part. So. Yeah, there's a free estimator actually built into the program that you can print up a ticket with an estimate um, with your labor rate and with a parts markup on there all, again, real time in a matter of seconds. Very easy to use. And as Clay said, you know, for the bargain basement price of free. That's right. So guys, let's go take a look at this thing, and I think you're going to like it. All right, guys, here we are. I've got the, uh, the camera set up on the screen, and Bobby can walk you through some of the features of ProLink. Guys, this is kind of the landing screen. Um, everybody's will look the same with a few differences. Clay mentioned earlier one of his favorite uh, features is the fact that you're not only able to see uh, your local Napa store, but also the other servicing stores. Uh, as you can see right here in this corner, uh, Clay and Transport One are connected to the Boonville, Mississippi store. Um, we're a store group. We own seven stores all along Highway 45 in Mississippi and uh, uh, Tennessee. So the feature he was talking about, if I put a part number in, I'll just go with my go-to 1040 oil filter. The first thing you're going to see here is the number of quantity on hand at the Boonville store, which is his primary store. Um, and then the Memphis distribution quantity on hand. The distribution center out of Memphis is our servicing distribution center. We actually have a day shuttle that gets parts from them um, around two o'clock in the afternoon and also one for overnight delivery depending on what time of day it's ordered. 
But this little button here is really neat um, in the instance where it's not there. You can click find it and as you see, it will pop up our other seven stores and the distribution centers that Clay can get a uh, delivery from for next day delivery or two day delivery without any uh, shipping costs. All of your Napa stores are gonna be connected whether you only have one Napa servicing store or many. Um, they'll be able to connect to whatever your servicing distribution center is and then of course the supplier down here on those hard to find special order items you know, you may have a little bit of shipping cost, takes a couple days, but it allows you to see from every level, the local level, your store, um, the local level, other stores that may service your store, the regional level with the distribution centers, and then the nationwide level with all of the distribution centers, as you can see right here, and the supplier, in this case, Gastonia, North Carolina, for our Wix um, filters. I'm gonna jump back to the home screen uh, and just show you real quick, there's a couple of different ways to look up parts in the Napa system. Uh, of course, the one that we're all familiar with, uh, my car, uh, 2014, Nissan, Altima, that's got the 2.5 liter engine in it. It's gonna walk you step by step through that. And now I'm on the part search. I've got kind of my main hitter, heavy hitters over here. So let's just say I'm gonna do pads and rotors. I'll put check marks in the pads and rotors and click search. Um, you can set it up to search first based on price, based on availability. Um, but as you'll see, it knocks, it, it pops up uh, whatever the OE is, part number, uh, your price, list price. And then of course, again, like we said, the availability in your store uh, as well as the other stores. Over here is how you refine down. Um, on a Nissan Altima, it doesn't really matter, but you start getting into Chevy pickups, Ford pickups, where you need to refine down by two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, six bolt or six lug, etc. cetera. Uh, that information's over here. The other thing I'll show you that I do like is when you have a customer standing over your shoulder and you're looking up parts, the last thing you want them to do is see what you paid for it, especially if you're doing a parts markup. This little double question mark box right here you click it once and you'll see your price went away. So you're able to hide that from your customer if you need to. Again, rotors, um, it's gonna pop up the same way. It's gonna give the OE matched first and then also the, uh, the kit prices with pads and rotor combos. So that's way one to look up parts. Um, the other way is the Napa part, which we just said, if I'm looking at a 1040 oil filter and I know the part number is 1040, that's automatically going to pull up everything in the Napa system with the part number 1040. Um, Clay mentioned earlier in the video, our interchange is second to none in the industry today. Um, whether it's a competitor's number, whether it's an OE number, uh, if you have a part number, you can click on the interchange button right here and put it in. I see Clay's got an um, invoice here from Summit, so uh, let's just go with an FLT. Uh, 4400B and see if that one will pull up a Napa part number. Uh, some of the time it doesn't, some of the time it does. Um, I'll give you an instance of one that I, I just know off the top of my head will, a PF11 uh, oil filter from Advance uh, CarQuest, our number's a B6. Uh, very simple interchange. Um, and again, nine out of 10 times that's gonna work with the OE number uh, or competitor's number. As Clay and I've run into before, some of the times you drop one letter or one number off. What I like too is you can put in the VIN number, like on a car, and it'll you know cross reference. You don't even have to ask your customer what kind of engine that is. That's right. And uh, like show them how it works on like the, the medium duty, heavy duty trucks and stuff. Cause yeah, I mean that, that is an amazing feature. Right here in the top right corner, as you can see. You know, as Clay mentioned, the Napa ProLink system isn't just for light duty trucks and cars uh, and SUVs. Uh, we can actually change right here. Um, is it thinking? Yeah, there it goes. Uh, and you can see agricultural, farm, lawn and garden. So now you're looking at tractors, combines. Again, will be vehicle specific, uh, medium heavy duty, off-road, industrial, recreational, marine. Uh, medium heavy duty there. Now we're looking at heavy duty. So let's just say we're gonna look at one of Clay's trucks here will take a 2011 um, Kenworth. What all do you run? The 660s? Yeah. T660. 
and I know you run PACAR because I love PACAR. And uh, now we go through the filter list. Again, I can just click each filter for that PACAR engine, and we'll see how many of them we have in the system so far. All right, so there's your air filter. No cabin yet. Fuel filter, oil filter. And again, we were able to change in a matter of two buttons from looking at a light truck and car to big trucks to find um, application specific parts for the for the bigger trucks. Works the same way on lawnmowers, combines, farmers. Uh, it really comes in handy for you. Um, again, like I said in the video earlier, just because it doesn't show up here doesn't me necessarily mean we don't have it. Uh, it updates every day. We're adding parts every day into the system. Um, so just keep checking and obviously if you run into uh, something here that it doesn't have it, that's when you probably need to call your store. But you know, the thing for us is there's no reason why you should take five, six, seven minutes out of your day to order a set of brake pads for a Chevy Silverado. Um, you can do it right here in a matter of you know, 60 seconds a lot of time. My favorite search is Clay and I've run into this a couple of times. I'll pull off the side of the road and kind of walk him through. Um, you know, some things aren't vehicle specific. Uh, the brass airline fittings that Transport One does a lot of business with us on. Uh, the new smart search, this was just added in a little less than a month ago for us. Um, this is Google for Napa, which as a millennial, 34 year old, I love it because the vaguer you get, the more it pulls up and then we'll use the refined by to go down. Um, brass fittings, for instance, we'll just use that one just because I know Clay and I have particularly used this before. I can just type in brass and you'll see everything starts popping up, all different kinds. Uh, again, the vaguer I want, the vaguer I start, the better off. So I'm just going to start with brass. And guys, this system is actually really fast. We're on a Wi-Fi system here. Of course, it's a desktop, but the shops are good ways away from where our router is in the office. So this system is really fast. And another thing, I've got it on my cell phone, and I saved it as a home button or whatever. You know, where I can, you know, access it. I can lay underneath the truck and look at the part, hit a button, and you know, seven, eight hours later, the Napa guy shows up at the park. <laughs> you got it. So as you can see, we started with the brass fitting. I just typed in the word brass and hit enter. So what that shows is that in the Napa system, there's 1,412 part numbers that have the word brass in it. I know I'm looking for fittings, so I'm gonna to go to gates. And now I'm down to 635 matches. Again, I'm just going to continue to do this, and let's just say we're going to look at a 90 degree today, Clay. Uh, okay. Fittings and hose. Let's do a 3 8 female to 3 8 male. All right. So now we're down to 431. We're going to go 90 degree. I think this will work down to where we need it to be. Now we're down to 119. You said pipe thread, what size, Clay? Three-eighths. Three-eighths male, three-eighths female. All right, so we'll go pipe thread, three-eighths male. Tubing size, three-eighths female. There's your part number. G321-04606. And one thing I like about that system is I hate the quick connect airlines. So does Bill and so does everybody else that really works on a truck because eventually they're going to leak, you know, and you can look in here and you can pick either you want a quick connect or you want a compression style fit. And then, man, it makes it a whole lot easier. You don't have to, you know, because these parts guys, you know, they're busy. The phones are ringing. People stand in front of them and you call and like, I need a 3H to this, to 3H to that, you know, and you can look at it on here, you can see what you're getting, you know what you're ordering before you hit the button. And the ordering process is, I mean, it's unbelievably I just clicked, kind of simple it is. Yeah, I just clicked there just to show you, you know, a, a, a fitting like this, you're gonna know what you look like, but let's, let's think about a scenario where we get into motor mounts and you need to make sure that you're ordering the correct mount. Uh, again, I'm sure uh, none of you guys have ever run into this with your Napa stores, but my customers run into this all the time where they get a part and it wasn't exactly what they ordered. So the question is, well, did they order the wrong part? Did my guys pull the wrong part? Did we look up the wrong part? ProLink almost eliminates the human error because 
the customer side, in this case, Clay, he's looking at pictures. He can flip it around, look at different views. He can look right here in the attributes and see um, item specifics to it, specs. Uh, he can see his warranty from right here. Uh, and he knows pretty much without a shadow of a doubt that he's ordering the correct part. And again, he talked about how easy the ordering process is. Let's say he needs two of these fittings. We're gonna put two here, add it to cart, view the shopping cart, and then check out. This system allows you to do uh, a couple of things that I really, I really like from my side as the Napa store. One, you can put PO numbers here, and as soon as our system picks it up, it automatically grabs that PO if you use purchase order numbers. And the other one is big, big, big for us is the message to store feature right here. You can put a message of up to, I think it's 80 characters in that field, deliver in the morning, customer waiting, run ASAP, send a bottle of antifreeze, whatever, you can put it right there. Or you know, fire Bobby, whatever you want to put there. It's, and anything in those, anything in that feature will be read on your invoice at the store level. <coughs> I know some of you are probably thinking, well, if I click submit there, something's just going to print on a printer somewhere and it's going to wait on somebody to go grab it. It doesn't work that way. In all of your Napa stores, as soon as you click the word submit, the computers at each station for the counter people are going to start dinging a, an audible noise and it's annoying trust me if you're in the store and you start getting a bunch of them at once it just goes ding 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 and will continue to ding until somebody on that counter acknowledges the order invoices it and pulls it so three simple steps um, from start to finish there's very little time like I said I, I've, I've told customers as I've gotten them on this program I'll bet you lunch every day for a week that I can order a part before you ever get the phone answered. That's right, that's 100% right. Um, one other feature I'll show in here is across the top line, you see all of these little drop down boxes. I'm not gonna show you all of them today, but maybe we'll do a follow up video on it. These are the extra tools that come along with ProLink. Again, like I said, how much would you pay for a program like this? It's free. One thing I will show you is the tools function right here. If you go down to technical data, it brings you out to Mitchell. Uh, have you ever been a shop and wondered, oh, how much Freon goes in this 2010 Ford F-150? Again, this will show you 2010. Ford. And then we'll come down to pick up F-150. And then over here on your maintenance side, if you click on the maintenance and view, and view fluids, you get all of the fluid capacities for that truck. In this case, we were asking about Freon. It takes R134 and it's 1.5 pounds. Super Duty 1.7, 350, 1.7. But everything's in there, transmission fluid, brake fluid, gear, flu gear oil, coolant depending on which engine type it is, engine oil depending on which engine type it is. That is right there. Um, at the touch of a button for you, again, I can't harp on it enough, for free. It's a very simple uh, system to use. Um, I hope that kind of gives you guys a good, you know, 30,000 30, foot overview of the Napa Pro Link and what it can do for each one of your businesses um, to help make things easier and allow you to do business with Napa a little easier. All right, uh, Bobby, you wanna tell everybody how to go about getting, uh, you know, signed up to start using the Pro Link system? Yeah, guys, it's pretty simple. Just call your Napa stores. Um, you know, they should be able to get you signed up. It's, it's very simple. You go online uh, to NapaProLink.com. Uh, there'll be a register function. Uh, you'll click on that. It'll ask for some basic information, phone number. Here, I'll just walk you through one real quick. I'm gonna log you out of this one if that's, a, well, here, let me just come over here and I'll do it on a different screen so I don't have to log you out, Clay. Okay. Um, NapaProLink.com. And if you're a first time user, right over here on the left side is a register bunk button. It's gonna ask you for, for some basic information, username, password that you'll use going forward, your company, email address, uh, phone number, contact person. Once you click submit, it's gonna give you a 10 digit ProLink ID number. That is an ID number that's gonna be specific for you. And you will call your local Napa store with that 10 digit ProLink ID number. 
and give it to them. They will then put it into what our system is called TAMS. They'll put it into your TAMS account, which will link your account, your pricing to that particular Napa store. Uh, again, very simple. And then from then on out, you can do like Clay and just have it um, either as a shortcut or uh, on your hot bar. Again, if we close this out you know, and reopen it, he doesn't have to log in every single time. It's automatically right there. But that's pretty simple. And what's great about it is you know, when the price decreases come to part numbers or price increases come, as we know there are, it automatically does it. Uh, inventory is, is done uh, real time. So if the guy down the street buys the set of brake pads you were looking at this morning, and you come back to it an hour later, it's gonna be a zero. Uh, on the flip side, if the Napa store gets a delivery of brake pads and the brake pad you're looking for, it's gonna bump back up every time they put the inventory in. It will adjust real time here. And then, like I said, the site updates itself every day. Uh, it's constantly changing. It's a moving, living, breathing organism. Trust me, I've been doing it um, for four and a half years now, and, and I'm pretty, pretty comfortable with this program. And there have been uh, pieces that are added into it every day. For you light duty guys, one thing I will say that we've got that nobody else does to this point that I'm aware of is a mobile VIN scanner. It's a free app on your iPhone or um, Android devices, and it runs off of your camera. You hold it over the, uh, the barcode or the QR reader, Q code, uh, it automatically pulls up the VIN information and drops it right down here under a, a certain function. Don't have it for heavy duty yet, but it's, it's, uh, it's probably coming. Again, just one thing to save a few more seconds. You know, How long does it take to go 2010 Ford F-150 5.4 liter submit. Well, now we can do it just by scanning the VIN. So another good feature there. There you go, guys. Well, Bobby, I appreciate it. As My like pleasure. always, guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs. I got to zoom way in here. Thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe down here below. You guys have a great one, and we'll catch you next time.